so today was a good day. It was um, <clears throat> St. Thomas Sunday. There's also the commemoration of uh, one of the greatest saints and the patron saint of Palestine, um, St. George. But the reading for today was of the Apostle Thomas, the, uh, the Apostle to Persia in India. It was of Chapter John, or sorry, the Gospel of John, Chapter 20, um, verses 19 to 31. Now, I won't read it all to you. Um, <clears throat> but there was some very important, uh, interesting things that were said in here. Um, on the evening of the first day, this is the title of this chapter, Jesus appears to the disciples. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked <clears throat> for the fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. After he showed them his hands and his side, the disciples were overjoyed and saw the Lord. When they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, peace be with you. As the Father sent me, I am sending you. And he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. For if you forgive anyone's sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. That's the first point that I want to come back to. Now Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples. So when Jesus came, or when Jesus came, so the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said, unless I see the nail marks in his hand, and put my fingers where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe it. A week later, the disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them. <clears throat> Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here, see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then he goes on to say, Then Jesus said, Then Jesus told them, Because you have seen me, you believe. Blessed are those who have not seen yet, yet have believed. Yet have believed. And it, it goes on to 31, right? Um, now there's three points in there. Um, <clears throat> one, um, Jesus uh, gives the office of the keys. Um, when I go to confession and my sins are forgiven, they are forgiven. God has no more care for them. So anybody wanting to call me a Satanist or a communist or whatever, you have to take it up with Christ and the church and tell Christ and the church that they are liars. You have to actually call Christ a liar. Or at least the Apostle John and um, I believe it's also written in um, Mark or Matthew. So either all the apostles were lying or Christ was lying. Um, but yeah, no Christian has the right to point at me and say, oh, that sin you confessed and repented of. That's, how, that's what I'm going to judge you by. Um, now, Thomas, when... Peter tried to protect Jesus, saying, no, Lord, let us, you know, he called him Satan and rebuked him. Did he rebuke Thomas? No. Because we don't have blind faith. 
he never rebuked Thomas. Actually, Thomas is one of the strongest disciples, or apostles, I mean. And there's another important thing. When people say, oh, Christ is never called God, Thomas responds, it says in verse 28, chapter 19, Thomas said to him, my Lord and my God. He didn't exclaim, oh my God, that wasn't an expression back then. He said to him, Christ, Jesus, his Lord, he said, my Lord and my God. Jesus Christ is God incarnate. Um, and then it goes on in to verse 30, which I didn't read. Jesus did many miraculous signs. In the presence of the disciples, which are not recorded in this book, but these written, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and believing in Him, you have life in His name. So, this is from. Um, This is the readings for today, St. Thomas Sunday. Um, and uh, we also, uh, it was also a celebration of St. George, the martyr for Christ. Um, patron saint of Palestine, I believe the English also claimed him as, his pa as their patron saint. I don't know how that happened. But he was the enlightener of, he went all the way to India. <clears throat> and some of the churches that he established are still there to this day. So, um, yeah, those three key things. Um, Christ not rebuking Thomas at all. Um, we, that we don't have blind faith. Two, that the, the office of the keys are binding, and that the sins that are that I've repented of and went before an icon of Christ um, and confessing in front of a priest and him absolving me of them. That's real and that's in the scripture. And then the third one is the divinity of Christ, my Lord and my God. All right. Peace to you. Let's see. Um, I bet there'll be a downvote on this video. Is somehow I'm a devil worshiper or something, or, or a communist. Ridiculous. Again, the people who say that to me are calling Christ a liar. Because those sins have been forgiven by the church, who have the office of the keys of the apostles. So they have to take that up with Christ.